Hi hey everyone on YouTube, this is Wed Goku here. Um, like I said in my other video, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm really not sure how much content I can have, so you really don't have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, because I feel kind of bad because I'm not updating content all the time, and you guys here you are, you know, subscribed to my channel wanting new content. So I'll just try to upload as many videos as I can right now. Um, I plan to upgrade my computer maybe one to two years. Um, I'm just trying to come up with some ideas in my head on what I want to do. Maybe like a small water-cooled ITX computer because I really want to make the smallest water-cooled computer I can. Or who knows, maybe go bigger with a bigger case. I've been liking, uh, if you look at Case Labs, they make a lot of good cases. Um, really huge American-made cases made in the USA. So. They're great quality cases. You can look up on there. So Case Labs, I'd look them up on Google. Um, like I said, yeah, I just don't really know how much content I can uh, upload, so I feel kind of bad for you guys. But thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel and uh, just looking at all my videos so far. You know, I just wanted to show you what you can kind of do with some computers. You don't have to have a lot of money, but you can do one part at a time. All my computers, as you can see, that I've been upgrading over the years... Um, I didn't buy them all at one time. I would upgrade maybe a video card here, a sound card there, and over two to three years, um, I've just been blessed to just save my money and just think it through and uh, buy one part at a time. You don't have to buy everything at the same time. A lot of people do that. Um, let's say I have a, not a good quality monitor and uh, I want a nice video card. I can upgrade the video card now and then maybe buy the monitor later down the road. You really don't have to buy everything at the same time. So long story short, um, this is supposed to be my Battlefield 3 performance review uh, with the one gig or two gigabyte EGA 670 GTX for the win edition card. Um, the card is stock, so it's not overclocked at all. Um, it, it's factory overclocked to you know 680 GTX speeds, but I didn't overclock it. Um, in this video right now. So uh, right now on my thermostat inside the house it is kind of cold outside. I would say it's probably about 68 to uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the temperatures that I'm running. Sorry that's my dog barking in the background. Um, I'll be running MSI Afterburner just to kind of show um, some of the temps um, that you can record and I will have GPU Z See if I can find it right in the background. So you can see everything. I don't want to zoom in too much, so I'm not sure how uh, it is, but everything's on stock. You can see right here 1006 megahertz on the core clock, on the memory 1552 megahertz, and on the boost clock 1085 megahertz. So nothing's overclocked. It's a uh, EVGA 670 GTX for the win edition. Um, it's running, you know, PCI Express 2.0. Even though it's a PCI Express uh, 3.0, my CPU doesn't have, uh, you know, PCI Express 3.0, so it really doesn't matter. But maybe you get maybe a three performance to five performance uh, increase if you have PCI Express uh, 3.0 uh, Ivy Bridge CPU or something like that. Um, here's the sensors right now. Um, it's saying it's running at idle on the idle temp, you know, just in Windows, not playing any games. It's a 68 degrees Fahrenheit in ambient room temperature right now. Um, it's saying 63 Celsius. It's a GPU temperature idle. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, this is MSI afterburner. So I'm trying to just make the taps the best I can. Um, nothing's overclocked. It's all the same. I'm leaving everything on auto, auto fan speed so you can kind of get some of the temperatures. Uh, right now, I'm just going to leave these on the highest. So it's going to GPU Z is going to record the highest temperatures that are uh, when I'm running games and benchmarks and this is a good way when you're overclocking to uh, figure out the temperatures of your video card you know if you're up in the voltage or you're up in the uh, these NVIDIA cards have a thing called uh, power limit right here which will pretty much uh, raise the power limit of the GPU on the 670 GTX so so 670, 660, you know, all the new 6000 series have these some of these features. So everything's on high right here. So you can see right there, you know, 1006 megahertz. OK, 
Okay, so now we're just going to run uh, Battlefield 3. Just make sure I got Fraps running so you guys can see it. So I'm running Fraps right now. And uh, what Fraps does is it records a little um, frames per second counter that you can show for your games. And this is how you... FPS means frames per second. Um, so what it does is it records... It shows like a little measure of the frames per second. And it'll show if your games are running fast or not. Um, usually you can tell by your eyes. You know, your eyes can usually tell. So uh, right now I'm just going to do a little test. I'm running uh, Caspian Border. Um, on Battlefield 3, this is Battlefield 3. I got premium with all the DLC packs. So, limited edition Battlefield 3 with everything. So, if you guys really want to see this, I can try to run some more game benchmarks tonight. Um, 64 players right now. Caspian Border. I'm just going to try to find a full server right here. This is a noob hiding in the bush, which is a pretty good server. So, it might be full. Okay, so it's joining the server right now. Now, Western um, Battlefield 3 right now is installed on my Western Digital 1 terabyte black. So it does take a little bit longer to load the game itself. But if you had it like installed on a giant SSD, um, it would load really fast. But the problem with that is, is the servers have a problem on Battlefield 3 where you still have to wait 20 to 30 seconds you know, for the match to start. So it doesn't matter if you have it Battlefield 3 installed on an SSD because you're still having to wait. So right now it's a connecting loading level. I'm sorry to make you guys wait. So we're just going to click on Battlefield 3 and uh, I'll show you some of the settings. I'm running on Ultra settings, the highest settings, max settings that you can run in Battlefield 3 at a resolution of 1900 by 1200 resolution. Um, this is like 1200p. This is higher than a 1080p monitor. A 1080p monitor is only 1920 by 1080 resolution. So um, this is a little bit more demanding when you're running some of these games. And uh, just, yeah, the, the higher resolution you go, usually the less frames per second, the less FPS you get. Yeah, sorry if this is taking long, so long. I might have to cut this part if it's really, really taking a long time. Okay, so here we go. Just waiting on it. that little bar right there. You can see on the bottom it has a little loading thing. So yeah, remember the fan's on auto speed. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go in here and show you some of my settings. So as you can see right here, I go into the options, and I'm going into my video, and you can see right here, try not to zoom in too much because I'm not sure how much it shows, but it's saying 1920 by 1200 resolution, and the graphic settings are on ultra. Everything's the highest you can put it, uh, texture quality, ultra, um, just everything. This is the highest you're going to get. Um, vertical sync is off, and what vertical sync does is it will lock your frames per second up here to 60 frames per second. So you, if you're benchmarking, you want to turn vertical sync off, which is right here. So now we're just going to go back in the game and I'll show you some of the frames per second. Um, if I look into the sky right there, so you can see vertical sync's off, I'm getting 149 frames per second, so 153. But when you're playing like this, you got to remember this is 64 player server, so it's very, very demanding. Um, Sorry, I'm just trying to play while showing you guys this. So pretty much it's very, very demanding. And uh, you can see the frames per second. I mean, 65, 62, 61 frames per second. Um, let me get outside view. Um, right here, 55. Um, you got to remember the 64-player Caspian Border server. So this is real, really demanding map when you have it on ultra settings. In the past, this would take two video cards to run something like this, which is pretty crazy. Um, I'm just driving around right now because I got one hand on the camera and one hand on the uh, keyboard, just kind of driving you around showing the performance. Um, again, 60, you can see right here, 60, 70 frames per second, just driving around in the Jeep. Um, people are shooting at me. 70, um, 73s. So I would say. 
on average on ultra setting these are with the new nvidia um i'll put everything in the description new nvidia 306 97 drivers I, I think that's what they are the brand new ones and uh yeah i do get an import performance increase so let me try just walking around um 70 right now i'm going to start shooting and uh you can see right here 65 frames per second I apologize for the shaky quality in your 65. Um, yeah, I mean, really, you'll have no problems maxing this game out or any game with the uh, just a 2 gig by EVGA GTX 670 for the win. Um, it's amazing graphics card. It's one of the best I've ever bought because you can literally um, pretty much max out any game. And I'm probably going to die here because I'm just prone. There's the sentence you can prone now. And, uh, yeah, you can see... 50, 60, it's always, I'm getting an average of, you know, 60 to uh, 80 frames per second in a game. So I'm just going to kind of show you more of these settings. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to keep it steady for you guys. It is on Ultra. I'm not sure how it's how well it's going to show it, but yeah, everything, explosions going off. 57, I just died right there. 81, 83, 84, 87, and uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's not bad, the frames per second is pretty decent with just one card, I mean, it, it's crazy, I remember having um, my 2 gigabyte, um, H, or the 1 gigabyte HD 5870s in Crossfire, and on ultra setting, I was only getting 40 frames per second average, because it only had 1 gigabyte VRAM, it was hitting a uh, frame buffer. So now uh, let me try like another map. I'll try, let's see, yeah, because I got all the DLC packs, so we'll just try um, Hellbore's Mountains or something like that and see. Oh, okay, ADK servers. And you see, these are some of my favorite for uh, Battlefield 3. I'm in the uh, United States in... Uh, USA Michigan that's my state Michigan so I just uh, want to give you guys a heads up and uh, say thank you so much for watching I'm just gonna run a couple benchmarks on here maybe I'll see if I uh, I'm downloading Metro 2033 right now so I'll, I'll run some uh, game benchmarks of that and tell you guys the performance uh, temperature wise here let me see if I can show you guys some of the temperatures while we were playing the temperatures here I'm gonna alt tab out of the screen for a second um, the temperatures in GPU-Z, you can see, let me show MSI Afterburner, you have this thing called Boost Clock, and this is the reason why I tell people you don't need to overclock, because NVIDIA automatically overclocks the video card for you. So you can see right here, I'm getting temperatures of 79, 78, all the way across on auto fan speed, 98% GPU load, so there's no CPU bottleneck or anything. Uh, fan speed right here is saying 54 speed, but I, I've seen that go up to 59, 60, you know, in between there. Now here's the cool thing, the boost clock. Remember I told you the stock clock of the EVGA 670 GTX for the win is 1,006 megahertz? Well, it will, on a demanding game, it will boost the clock speed right here. So you can see um, it's showing 1189 megahertz. Um... I'm sure this is a stupid message. I wish it stopped coming up. Um, 1189 megahertz average boost speed, 1176. So, I mean, it auto overclocks the GPU in a very demanding title. So, uh, you can see in the highest core clock we got on this EVGA 670 GTX for the win was a uh, 1201, almost 1202 megahertz core clock, which is insane. So uh, right now I'm playing Elbor's Mountains. It's a 64-player uh, server, and uh, let's see, I'm just kind of looking around. I hope somebody's flying around. Okay, so we're just going to do the pair drop thing right here. So right now I'm getting, as you can see, 72. Okay, so this is I just died right there, but you can see right there on an average about 70, 80 frames per second. Um, Ultra, same same settings, Ultra settings, 